All Aboard, bringing you board games, tonight on All Aboard. The evil Lord Eradicus has vanquished his enemies and all but taken over the galaxy. We are thieves who have challenged each other to sneak aboard his flagship, Eradicus Prime, hack into its command module and steal his most prized artifacts. Hi guys, my name is Glyde. And my name is Pat, you're very welcome to All Aboard. At this point, we would like to ask you to please turn on your Klingon subtitles so if we make any rule errors, we can place them there. And if you spot any mistake, please leave a comment below with the time code and we'll add them to the subtitles. So tonight we're going to start our space series on All Aboard and we're going to play a number of space themed games on our channel. So please keep an eye out for that. We have Clank in Space here and we've randomly chosen three modules. So we're going to be playing with the Promenade, the arena and hydroponics. So these modules are double sided and you can choose which side you want to use for each game just to give the game a bit of variety. In Clank in Space you have three goals. Hack into the spaceship's computer to obtain a two-part command code to get into the command module, steal an artifact and escape in the escape pad and of course get more points than your opponents. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I'm just going to give a very, very simple overview of the rules because you're going to see how it works as we play and that's the easiest way to learn. So to start off with, we have set up the game with six cards in the market down here. So these are cards that we're going to be able to buy with skill and you see skill on our cards. Up here are also cards that can be bought and these are standard in every game. These ones change in every game. And we also have the G0BL1N, right? Sounds like Goblin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we can use our laser swords to fight him just to get a credit if we have two swords to spare each time. Up here then we have a market and we can buy these for seven credits each if we are on one of these market spaces around the board and they just give us special abilities. And because this is a two player game, we only have one of each of those out. And then down here we have our clank. And so I'm the starting player. So the sneakiest person is the starting player and Gly sneakily convinced me that that was me. So for some reason I'm the starting player, I don't know. And so I have three clank in there and Gly will start off with two. Okay, and up here then is our starting position. Here are our health tracks. So as we get attacked, we'll get cubes on these health tracks. And if we ever reach the end of this track, we, we are knocked out. And so if we're knocked out in the spaceship, in this area of the spaceship, that's it, it's game over for us, we lose all of our points. But if we get knocked out in the cargo bay here, our friends drag us off the ship and we're safe. So what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get into the command module by hacking some computers out here and we're trying to steal an artifact and then escape in one of these escape pods. If we escape in an escape pod, we get one of these tokens, which is worth an extra 20 points at the end of the game. And then around the board here, we have some major secrets and minor secrets. So the major secrets will give us bigger benefits, of course, and the minor secrets, there are actually two tokens on each of the minor secret spaces. And we just get those by going onto that space. And over here is the rage track. So this here marks how angry Lord Eradicus here is. And so it starts off here because we are playing with two players, but there are other starting positions for three and four players. So when there is an attack, what we'll do is we'll take any cubes that are here in the clank area from us making noise, and then we'll put them into the bag. bag. <laughs> yes, this bag here, right? <laughs> And then we'll draw a number of cubes based on his position on the rage track over here. And for each color cube that comes out in one of our colors, we'll just add those to the health track. And that's the damage that we've taken. And over here, you'll see we have some red cubes and these are bounty hunters. So when he reaches this level of the rage track, we'll also add those into the clank area. However, when they're drawn from the bag, every player will take one damage and they'll go back into the clank area so they can come out over and over again. Then here in the middle of the board, we have a hyperlift. So we can use the hyperlift to travel around the ship. And if we go to a hyperlift space, we can for free travel to any other hyperlift space along the board. Just be careful, there's actually a lock here and you can't get into this area without having a command module, which we'll explain later. And once you take a hyperlift, then your guy gets dizzy and he's not able to use boots to move anymore during that turn. Okay, I'm gonna put him back. And then something else that's new in Clank in Space are these telepads. 
and they're connected together so you can teleport from one to the other if you have this pass that you can buy in the market and just like the hyperlift when you use the hyper pad your guy is dizzy and he can't use any more boots to move for the rest of the turn okay so both pad and i start with 10 cards so you shuffle them and you give yourself five cards and on your turn you have to use all those five cards yeah and the things that you can do is so you can use a boot to move to a connecting space to the adjacent space yeah. something like that and also if you get the stumble you have to add one clunk here and then if you see this symbol this is skill so that is your buying power to buy any of this on the market Right. And we also have other symbol, which is the laser sword. And the laser sword is used to fight these monsters or monsters on the card. Yeah. Okay. And you can also fight, fight. this G0B <laughs> L1N, right? Yes, to, to get one credit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if you fight this G0B L1N, that card does not get discarded, actually. This just stays here. So you always have a goblin to fight, to, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, a G0B L1N <laughs> to fight. Yeah. <laughs> It's just hard to not to read it as Goblin, yeah? <laughs> okay, so I think that's all that you do on your turn. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's just get started, yeah? And if anything else comes up, then we'll just explain it as we go along. But the easiest way to learn is just to yeah. play, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I go first. You go first, so let, let's get our... Yeah, and deal ourselves five. And let's see what we got. So, oh, okay, no stumbles. So I am going to use my access to move down here. And then I have four hacks. So one, two, three, four. So that's four spending power. And now what will I buy down there? That acoustic spanner looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm going to buy the acoustic spanner for four. So when you acquire Draw a car, uh, sorry, trash a program in your play area or discard pile. So I'll do that and I'll trash one of these hacks. Okay. And then we get a new card. Sure, discard. Mm -hmm. Discard pile. Yep. And we have a furry smuggler. Okay. Is that supposed Whoa. to be Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he looks like. <laughs> yeah, let's see. He looks like him, right? <laughs> It's a, a cat version. Oh, maybe it's But not. that is if you have the contraband. Yes, mm -hmm. that's right. Okay, so if you have contraband, then when this card comes out, you get three credits. That's but you do good. have two boots and, and a laser sword, so it's cool. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to play my scramble to get here and join you. Okay, Then Hello. I'll play my access to, to come in ahead. here. Okay. Yeah. And I have four skills. One, two, three, four. All right. And I am going to buy the information broker. Okay. So look at the top two cards of your deck. Draw one and discard the other. If I have this faction. That's right. Okay. If I you have the, the outlaw faction. Okay. Okay. So new card comes out and there is still no attack. And there's bones from Star Trek or Cranky Doctor. <laughs> oh. Okay, and back to me, right? So I've got two stumbles here. So they just give me clank. So here's two more clank in there. And I have a boot from my scramble. So I will scramble down here and join you. And then now I have two hacks to go along with that. So that's three. And for that three, I think that I will get a phaser. Let me see what's out there. The underworld, the underworld contact. It needs. It's good to get a credit yeah, there. Yeah, but you need to get the resistance faction. That's right. Yeah. Oh, there are two other resistance out there. It's just that they keep giving you clank, right? They jidu <laughs> laser sword, right? <laughs> I love the naming on this game. Yeah, yeah, and the references, right? No, I tell you, I'm going to spend this on. Uh, boldly go for now so I'm going to get a boldly go I'm sorry that goes in my discard pile along with the rest of my cards and they all get shuffled up now hand it back to you so I have two stumble so that's two clunk now that I want that 
<laughs> and then yeah. I have three hawks. So one, two, three. I'm going to buy the cranky doctor. Oh, oh okay. I forgot to get this one. Oh, yeah. This, and also one phaser for two. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's that's good to have to heal yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the new card comes out, and there is still no attack, and we have Better the be. nibbling beast. Oh. Right. Okay, so I have another stumble here, so that is going to give me some clank. And now my acoustic spanner has come out, so that's going to allow me to draw a card and then I can trash a program in my play area or discard path. So I draw a card here and now I'll trash I'll trash a program at the end of the turn. You can do all of these in any order you like, so it's all right to do that at the end. And so there's two hacks and a boldly go, so and an access. That's what I'm left with. So I'm going to move two spaces. So now where do I need to get to? I suppose I should go down there and pick up one of these minor secrets, right? So I'll come in here, and there's two boots here or two there's a set of footprints here and that means that you have to spend two boots to get down there oh my minor secret is a faction so i can play cards with any factions when i trigger that and i've got four so this time should i buy him the nibbling beast looks good too so i'm going to get the underworld contact for three okay and that goes into my discard pile with all of those. New card comes out. And it is the traitor. Okay. Oh. And there is no attack just There's yet. No attack. I am going to play my Axis. Uh, where should it go? You're going in there. So should I follow you? <laughs> you need two boots to get in there, right? Yeah, I've got another boot though. I have the Scrumble as well. Okay. S but I think I'll go a different path. All right. I will come here. So one, two, and take a minor secret. Okay. Oh, it's another boot. Oh, okay. Now, this is a security zone. So any of these spaces with the red lines on them are security checkpoints. And that just means that when you enter them, you can't spend any more boots for the rest of your turn to move. Yes. You could use a teleport or whatever yeah. to get out of there, right? But you can't use any more boots. So that's my two boots. And I have a phaser which I'm oh. going to attack the G0BL1N. <laughs> okay, so that gives you a credit. That gives me one credit. And another two hacks. So I get one, two, three, four, oh. which I think I'm going to buy the traitor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You already have an outlaw, right? So yes. that's going to be good. That's going to give all, me a lot of clank. All players get plus one clunk. Oh, that's an arrive yeah, ability. Arrive so up. we should have put that in when that card came out. So yeah, so that's an arrives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay. And it didn't have an acquire ability, no, right? No, it didn't have. Okay. So new card and we get an attack this time oh. with the imprisoned resistor. Okay. So let's put all this clunk here. Okay. And we're drawing three cubes now. Three cubes. So that would be... Oh, oh, good drawing. Nice. Bright. Well done. <laughs> Why did I do that to myself? And then the black, the black cube just goes at it again. So that doesn't go back into the bag. Yes. So our pieces get more and more <laughs> common in the bag, right? They'll come out yeah, more and more. That's awful. Horrible. You should, you should draw next time. <laughs> I was happy with your drawing there. <laughs> okay, so I stumble for some clank. There you go. And now I have a scramble here, so that just allows me to move one space in here and I get a credit for that. There's my credit. And I have three hacks. So with the one from the scramble, that's four. And now I want to get something to match up with my underworld contact. So I think I'm going to get this imprisoned resistor. Oh, that's so good. It's worth four. And it's also worth four points at the end of the game. But when I acquire, I get plus two clank. So that means that two more clank mm. going into that clank area. I'd like to somehow get rid of that. Okay. okay. And a new card. new card comes out. Oh, and it's another attack. Wow. Ooh. It's a lot of attack. Plus three 
clank and draw three cards. Wow, the monkey bought 30,000. No, the monkey bought 3,000. Oh, God. We need three clanks. So. Sorry, the monkey Here? bought 30,000. Yeah. One purple and two black. Oh. Not bad for you. Okay. So it and is you. I. I need to shuffle this up. Yeah. I have a stumble, so one in the clank area. And I have the information broker, but I haven't played any outlaw uh, faction yet. So right, I'll use this skill. there in your discard pile. So I get one, two, three, four, five to Ooh. buy. So what can I buy for five? There's a couple of sixes out there, right? But yeah, nothing but you for don't five. Really want to and the mm -hmm. Battle School Genius just gives you a clank, <laughs> although he gives you three skill, but... Yeah, but I don't want to have this one clank. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna buy the Nibbling Beast for two and uh, boldly go for three. Okay, so we so get a new card out and no attacks and we have a feline there. Discard a card to draw a card, but you can discard a card to draw two cards if you have a crystal. So those crystals, so this means that you need a crystal to trigger this effect down here. And those crystals can be obtained by coming to spaces like this that have the crystal mark on them. And there's five crystals in the game, so yeah. they just trigger effects on cards. I am going to play my acoustic spanner first, and that allows me to draw a card and then trash a program in my play area or discard pile. Then I'm going to play a stumble for a clank. I've got too much clank in that bag, I'm not happy with this. And then I've got my underworld contact and my boldly go and an access so those give me three boots so i'm going to come down in this direction so i'll go one and i'll take the minor secret which is a health oh, booster so that's good that's good and i'll just hold on that to that for now it doesn't really matter whether i play it now or later and then i've got another two movement rights so i'll go one and two so i'm just coming down in that direction and I also have a hack, and so that's two for five. So for five, I can buy... I'm in the same situation as you there yeah. before, right? I kind of like that feline here. So I'm going to get that for two. And you have three left. I have three left, yeah. I think I need to get something that I can fight with, though. So I'm going to get a phaser, right? Monkey buff, what does that do? Plus three, draw three cards. Oh, but if you have a faction, that's really powerful. Yeah. But it costs six anyway. So I'm going to get a phaser. So what's that? Two, four. So I have one left over, so I can't do anything else. So this, oh, so I can trash my hack now. Mm -hmm. And then that all goes to my discard pile, and a new card comes out, and there is no attack for the phantom agent. And what does that do? It gives minus two clank, which is quite good, actually. And draw a card. Draw oh. a card with the faction, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play Stumble. Well, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> right. One clank. And then I'll play my Cranky Doctor. So minus... Uh, it's a health booster. So okay. I get one out. And I have three hacks. So th for three, I am going to buy... Um, Boldly go, I would okay. say. Okay, I'll travel around a bit. Yeah, because that's plus two clan. This is plus three clan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to me. Back to you. And I'm going to stumble again. So I'm doing a lot of stumbling around this ship. <laughs> <laughs> Losing balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and. So I have an imprisoned resistor here that's going to allow me to draw a card. When he hugs trees, they hug him back. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And okay, that just gave me another hack. So I have a scramble here. And that is going to be useless to me, actually. So then I have one, two, three, four with my three hacks. So I'm going to buy this phantom agent for four. Oh. And that, yeah, so that allows me to get minus two clank. And also with the faction, I've got a few resistance cards in there. So hopefully they'll start to pay off. And that's it. So a new card comes out. Hopefully no attack. No attack. And we've got a renegade hacker. 
All right. So that's an outlaw as well. Yeah, yeah those are useful you to you. You may trust a program in your play area or discard pile. Okay. How okay. to get rid of those hacks? So I am going to play my traitor. So each opponent gets plus two clunk. That's uh, even ah, if sorry. you don't have the. Wait, I w but I have the information broker as well. Oh no! Okay. Yeah, so I have these two outlaw factions. So two clank. Two clank, and the information wow. broker is look at the top two cards of your deck. So top two, you can draw and and discard the other. So I am going to get the axis and discard the hack. So now okay. I have one boot. So I'm gonna come here, and then another boot. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to use this boot, so it's out of the game now, to come here and get a minor improvement, which is a health booster. Okay. And I am going to put my first um, command code. Oh, okay. And get three credits. Okay, so the way that these work are, these are data cubes and you use them at any of these data ports around the ship. And so when you are there, you just place it down and that completes one part of the two part code that you have to complete to get the command code token. And that's what's going to let you get into the command module down here where all the artifacts are. So when you place it, you get the benefit or the penalty, the right? Penalty. Some, sometimes you get two hits mm -hmm. and then you just continue playing. You cannot place your second port on the same module. It must be a different module because security get alerted, so you got to get out yeah. of there. Mm -hmm. And when you place the second one, then you get the command code token. And so you've hacked into the system, you're able to get into the command module and that's how you get your artifacts. So, and also when you place your second yeah. one, he gets more angry, yeah. right? <laughs> and so the rage track moves up one. So that's my, uh, that's my last boot. And then I have a stumble. So I'll put one clunk here. And then I have a phaser, which I'm going Whoa. to uh, defeat the G0B, L1N, okay. <laughs> for one credit. <laughs> and then another hack. So I have one, two, how many skills do I have? Four, I Four, think. and then I have oh, six. six. So for six, I am going to buy the furry smuggler. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, that's nice. Okay. So you'll be trying to get your hands on some contraband. Mm-hmm. Okay, and a new Not card if you buy it first. <laughs> That's all right. And we've got an Android assistant out here. There's a lot of outlaw faction in there, yeah? And there are today, mm -hmm. yeah. It seems to be where you're going, right? Okay, so my imprisoned resistor then is going to allow me to draw a card. Oh heck, I was really hoping to get uh to get a resistance faction in there but uh, I still have a chance so my feline then is going to allow me to discard a card to draw a card so I'm going to discard a hack to draw a stumble fantastic yes. <laughs> lovely uh, so yes. I'm going to play that to get a <laughs> to get a clank and now I have an access here and a scramble so that's two boots and then I have one more of these skills on my hack. So I am going to spend my two skill to buy a phaser. And my two boots are going to allow me to come in here. And I get a minor secret, which is two credits, not bad. And I'm also going to place my data cube here wow. on this data port. So that gives me five credits. That's huge. Yeah, that was a good spot to get mm -hmm. that. All right, so it is I. I'm going to play my uh, cranky doctor for a health booster. So this is out oh, now. Oh, you're completely healed. Yeah, and I have three. I have three boots. So where is the best place to go? Mm. I need to go to the other module. So I have to go. But this is also nice because. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's very tempting. Should I go that? But major, major <laughs> secret is much better, right? So yeah, I'll but go. it's taking you away from where you need to get for the second data port. Yeah, but, but I can <laughs> also come in there. So I'll use the hyperlift. Okay. So I'll go one, two, 
three and I used one of my um, laser, laser sword to fight this monster. Okay. And take this one. Oh, oh spaceship plans. Spaceship plans. Okay, so that's not an artifact, so it just yeah. gives you the seven the seven victory points at the end, right? Yeah, so that's my three boots and I have one more hack. So that's one, two, three, four. So what should I buy for four? Let me see this Android system. Draw a car. You may teleport to an adjacent space. Maybe I'll take this one. Right. That's if you have the science faction to go with them. So you'll be uh, able to get this. Uh, but I can draw a genius. card. But you can draw a card. Yeah, yeah it's not. It's not, it's a, not waste. a waste. A waste. Yeah. So I'll I'll take that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we get a new card into the card roll, and that is a data miner, and there is no attack. Okay. All right. So back to me then i have got my acoustic spanner out again so that's allowing me to draw a card and i can trash a card in my discard pile so i'm going to trash uh, it has to be a program so i'm going to discard this hack now ah oh, your deck is uh, getting hack, nice sorry. because of that card yeah i've gotten rid of some of my hacks anyway mm -hmm. so that's been useful what's not useful is this stumble so that's going to give me another clank look how much clank i have in there it's so loud yeah but you're so lucky there's no <laughs> attack yet i've been all right with that yeah okay so where am i i'm down there so i'm going to then use my two boots here and i don't have a faction to go with the resistance there so my underworld contact and my boldly go will allow me to boldly go back across here to the market. And now I'm going to spend seven credits. Oh, five and buying two. it, huh? Yes. Uh, no, I tell you, I might leave you the contraband because I want the key. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get the key here uh, because that, that will allow me to get through here along with a lot of other spaces, but especially the hyperlift on that last one is locked. Mm hmm. Okay, and now I have my phaser here, who is going to attack this G0BL1N. <laughs> and that gives me a credit there. And now, two, four, five, six. What lovely stuff have we got out there? The monkey bot 30,000 looks really good, but I don't see myself getting a faction there, so that's going to be just way too much clank. So what else have we got? Renegade. You can trash a program in your play area or discard pile. That would be nice for you, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because of my outlaw factions. Okay, you know what? The data miner looks good here because mm -hmm. he can give me two credits each time. So. I hope there is an attack next. <laughs> <laughs> We've got so many. So, this is the only time that I want an attack. <laughs> yeah, I've got twice as many as you in yeah. there, right? Okay, so that's three. So I still have three left. So I am going to get the... I think I'm going to get a boldly go for that. Yes, I'm going to get a boldly go. So that's it. Okay. So let's see if we get an attack. We do not. Okay, the entertainer is here. Okay. And he can give you a clank if you like. Mm, but he gives you credit want. for each clank that you, <laughs> you generate. So I'm going to play my stumble. Or clunk. Uh, now I take my word back. I don't want an attack. <laughs> then I use my uh -huh, use my boot. I need some credit. So I use my boot to come in here and take a hit. Here. Okay. And then I use my phaser to get one credit. And then I do not have a uh, a faction an outlaw faction blade so i'm left with two three four four skills oh what have you got down there now so i'm gonna get the renegade hacker for ah, sure yeah that's useful for you yeah, yeah you've so got a lot of outlaws in there now three and i'm left with one so i can't do anything okay and do we get an attack we do not we've got an ipod <laughs> iPod. iPod, yeah <laughs> and when he arrives, all players get one clank. So, wow. so one clank in there. One clank. And back to me. So now, so first of all, I'm going to play my phantom agent. And that's going to give me minus two clank, which oh. I badly need. 
and then I will use my... Does it let you draw a card? Oh, it no. does if I have the faction, but I don't have the faction unless this gives it to me. So my acoustic spanner allows me to draw a card. And, oh, it's a phaser, so it didn't give me what I wanted there. All right, and then I will boldly go. So where should I boldly go to is the question. I'll boldly go down here and I'll use my phaser to fight those creatures. Mm -hmm. And that gives me one of these. And, oh, it's a health booster. Okay, so I'm still okay with health. And now two hacks. So two, four, five, six, seven. Is it too early to go for the memory core? I think it is. Is there anything else out there? Entertainer. Everything's just giving clank, right? Yeah, you should get this monkey ball. Monkey <laughs> Plus ball. three clank, yeah, but... Uh, you get to t draw three cards, so... Oh, that's true. If you get your science guy out there, if you get another science guy, but the other science guy gives clank as well. So all the science needs to give a lot of clank. So I am... Um, Let's see, ah, it's too early for a memory core. I don't want to clog up my hand at this stage. So I will, there's nothing out there that I really want, is there? How about a G do? <laughs> yeah, another plus two clank, but it does allow you to draw a card. Okay, unfortunately, I think I'm just going to get three phasers. I'm wow, going to go crazy on the phaser. attacks. Yeah, so two, four, six. Okay, and now I can trash a program, right? So I can Why? trash my hack because my acoustic spanner. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So the hack is gone and it is back to you. I'm going to play my traitor and that's one, um, one boot. So I'm going to come here, stop there because it's a security check and take this one, which is two. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Two credits. Two credits, and then I have hack. Four hacks. Okay. So that gives me two, four, six. And six, I'll show by. Do you want the monkey about 30,000? <laughs> oh, no. What does this one do? The iPad oh, gives you some clank. One clank. For each clank, you make this turn one credit. Yeah, it's a way of getting credits, I suppose. You're going to get yeah, at least one. Yeah, but I don't like putting more clunks. So yeah. six. Hmm. For six, I might get a two phaser. Okay, uh, so that's four. Four. Or you maybe three. No, okay. Yeah. Not going to I let me run away you, with yeah? all the credits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get all those phasers, so. Okay, mm -hmm. and back to me. So I'm going to play my... Uh, feline here so that goes that's going to let me to discard a card to draw a card so I'm going to discard my stumble to draw a card and it's another stumble okay mm -hmm. and then my imprisoned resistor is going to let me draw a card so I'll draw a card here and excellent it's my underworld contact so finally I get a faction and that gives me, whoops, I'm knocking him over. I get one credit for that. And so I have a boot and I have another boot here. And that gives me two credits for the data miner. One, two. So I just have two boots and here's my other stumble. So that's going to give me another clank in there, yeah. And my final card is a hack. So I have three credits, so I'm going to get a boldly go, I think. Yeah. I get a boldly go, and I can move two spaces. So I move one here, and I take a damage for that. For that fight. And then I'll use my other one just to come across here. So that gives me a minor secret, which is another two credits. Not bad. Okay, so it is me. I am going to. I have the furry smuggler and also a bold legos. So I have three boots. I'm gonna come here for one and I use my two, four, six, seven, seven okay. credits to buy the telepass. And I have one more, I two more, so I'm gonna go one, 
two and stop there. Security check and get one. Oh, so it's oh faction. It's a faction. So you can now play the benefit on this card, right? Because you've got the no, I didn't. Oh, you didn't get the contraband. contraband. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. So that's all of my that's all of my uh, boots, and I'm going to play my android, which I can draw a card. And I have a I have a faction, so I can use this faction, which means I can also get the benefit of this. You may teleport to an adjacent space. So I will oh, teleport okay. here. So now this is gone. You're not going after that major secret. <laughs> and no. Not yet. I might just go for the hyperlift then. And then come here. Okay. And then next is I've got a boot, but I can't use that because I'm dizzy. Okay. And I have two um I have two laser swords, which I'm gonna defeat the G Zero B L one N for okay. credit. And I have a stumble. So one a nice clank, clank for that, yeah. And then one more skill. So two, three. Oh, okay. Three skills. I'm gonna buy. Um, we need to take these things out there, no? Yeah. Three skills. I really like. But I'm gonna buy a boldly go. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Back to me. Back to you. Okay, so I am stumbling around the place again. So I get a clank for that, and. Now, I will use my access to come across here to the market. So I'm going to spend seven. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to get this contraband. So then I'll use my next boot on a scramble to come down here. And then I'll put my second data cube down. So I've now hacked into the terminal. I get four credits. So One, now the two, three, Lord Eradicus four. gets angry. Yeah, <laughs> he's really port. angry now. So it's gone up to four cubes. And now one of these bounty, bounty hunters. hunters is in there. Yeah. So that'll keep coming back and attacking all of us, right? So if we draw one of these out of the bag, each one of us takes a hit and it goes back yes. into the clank area. Mm -hmm. So I have another boot left here on my boldly go to continue moving. And I think I'm going to come across this way and get a credit. And seeing as I'm collecting credits, I'll use the phaser to attack the G0B L1N. And that gives me another. So one, two, three, four, and I get a five instead of that. And I also get my command code token here because I've got the two data cubes, right? All right, and I have two, three, four left over. So I will get... Let me see. The entertainer gives a lot of clank, but he also gives a lot of credits. Do you know what? I might as well just fight for those credits. I might as well just get one of these uh, phasers. So I'm going to get one, two phasers, right? So I had four. Yeah, two phasers. Okay, and that's discarded. And a new hand. Okay, so I am going to play my boldly go. So I'll come down here and then I'll play my phaser to fight the G01BL1N <laughs> for a credit. I have my information broker, but I don't have the factions. I'll use it for the skills and then two hacks. So two, four, six, seven. Ooh. And I'm going to buy a memory card. It's time for the memory cards. Yeah, I think now that we're yeah, going to the command module, it might be time to start getting points, yeah. right? Okay finished yes so i get a stumble for some more lovely clank look how much clank is in there and then my acoustic spanner is going to allow me to draw a card and then discard one later so let's see if i have a hack in here i can get rid of i can discard a program oh i don't have a hack i have an access but is that worth discarding no i kind of need to keep my boots because Oh, unless I start building up and boldly goes. Okay, you know what? I'm going to get rid of my access. Mm -hmm. So that's gone. I'm sure I can get stronger cards in there. And now I'm going to boldly go. So that's just going to bring me in here to get a crystal. Mm -hmm. And 
Yeah, and so now I have three phasers. <laughs> So that's three credits from the goblin there. One, two, Oh, that's a lot three. of points as well in the end. Yeah, it's an extra three points, right? Yeah. And two, three, four, five. I will buy is there anything out there that's going to give points. No. I wonder should I chance getting that battle school genius because it yeah, would the, be nice the, to the raw it's not replenishing. That's right, yeah. To start the, getting. But the problem is I don't want I don't want to see any attacks so i'm not actually going to replenish it I'll, I'll leave that to you i'm going to spend my five on a boldly go and a phaser okay so i'm going to play my cranky doctor okay. for a health booster so i'll take this one out and then i'll play my access uh program for uh to come oh i need one more to come down here i guess okay. to the market yeah and then I have a phaser to to fight to the fight goblin. the goblin the or the G L one N for one credit and then the renegade so I can trust a program later and then the hack. So I have a skill of two four. I might go for the entertainer. Okay. Yeah, I might go for the entertainer. That's two, so you yeah, have two left over. Two, I will get a phaser and I am going to discard one of my hacks because of my renegade. So, hack is out of the okay, game. Okay, so let's see if mm -hmm. we get an attack. We do not. Okay, wow. the account hack is out. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy to see that because I did have a card, the Phantom Agent. It's going to give me minus two clanks, so it's good to get that back out of there. And now I have the faction actually this time. So this is great. I have three resistance guys. So my imprisoned resistor is going to allow me to draw a card. And then my underworld contact is here too. And so I can draw a card because of the faction for my phantom agent. So I draw a card there as well. Mm -hmm. And the underground contact is going to give me a credit for the faction. So. They all came out at once, which is quite oh, that's nice. That's good. Yeah. And now I have my feline. So the feline is going to allow me, because I have a crystal now, I can discard a card to draw two cards. So I'll discard my hack and that'll let me draw two cards here. Okay, so I'm going to use the boot then on the underworld contact to come moving up here. And then another boot on boldly go to come up to the market and then I'll spend seven to buy this token here and health that gives booster. me two yeah two health so we're back to scratch and I have another boot actually so I can use that to come in here I have my data code do you have your code no I haven't my okay. data code yet okay mm -hmm. I need to get one more All right and I'm not going to pick up that artifact. It's only worth five. I'm going to keep struggling on. So then after that, I've got a phaser to attack the G0BL1N for a credit. Mm -hmm. And now how much? I've got one more hack. So I've got eight in total. So I'm going to buy a memory core for that. And the last one, should I get a squawk bot? Mm, it is a resistance, but and it is worth a point, but I think I won't. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play the traitor, but I don't have the the faction for the boot and the scramble. So two boots. I'm using that to come in here and get a minor secret, which is another boot. And I'm going to use my data cube to hack into the computer, so that okay. gives me an extra laser sword. Laser sword. And I think he gets angry. He does get <laughs> angry and this goes into the clank area and you get your command code token. Yes, so command code token is here. I get this tumble for one extra clank and two hacks. So now I have uh, two, four, five. So for okay. one, I'm going to get the account hack. So acquire, I get two um, credits. Two credits. And then what it says, if you trust any card this turn, plus two more credit. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
So that's when you use it, right? Yeah, so that's two and I have three more. I'm gonna buy the... Mm -hmm. yeah, it goes in the discard pile. I'm gonna buy the boldly go. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, we need to we need to move Start quickly. To move. Okay, so do we get an attack? Well, we do get an attack. Oh, I'll, I'll let you do the drawing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what just came out there? It was the door sentinel. So, okay, so there's no arrivability. So all of this plank is now going into the bag. And I'm going to shake all that up there. And mm -hmm. we're drawing four this time. Yeah. So see what we get oh nice okay so oh. two of my hits that's exactly yeah. what i wanted yeah. <laughs> two of your hits that's why you wanted me to draw right yeah i think <laughs> you should do the drawing okay. yeah i'm terrible in drawing <laughs> i was yeah. liking your drawing <laughs> okay so it is my turn i need to give myself five cards let's see what we have okay there's my memory core already coming out to haunt me so that won't do anything and okay um hmm. is it worth doing that it might actually be worth doing that for me so i'm going to use a boldly go to actually go back into this module and then i'm going to play my data miner so my data miner gives me two credits but if i place a data cube in my current module i get an extra two credits so that's four so one change in five and that also gives me another boot so i'm going to use that boot to come back in here i'm still not picking up that artifact because i don't want to make him angry <laughs> and i'll use another boot to come across here so i have the key for the lock and that gives me a major secret which is seven points okay oh, that's good spaceship plans and then i have uh two laser swords on my phaser so I'll attack the G0BL1N for a credit. So I'm building up a nice amount of credits there. And now I have five. So I think that I'll get a... Oh, let me see what's down there now before I'm too hasty on that. Mm, should I have attacked the door sentinel? No, nah, it's okay. I will spend... You know what? I'm going to get the boldly go and a phaser. Wow. And that's it. So for me, I have four phasers <laughs> wow. and a nibbling beast. Wow, that's a lot of attack, yeah. right? So first, I'm going to use my boot and one phaser to come down here. And that use one phaser to fight this uh, monster here. So okay. I get one credit. Yeah. So let me get the five and give four back. And then I am going to um, I'm going to use one of this laser sword to defeat the I'm going to defeat the door sentinels. I get an extra boot, and I'm using the extra. I'm sorry, I get an extra boot to come down here. Okay, so you get a crystal. I think and get a crystal. Yeah, I get a crystal. And then uh, I'm going to use the other laser sword here to defeat the iPod. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that gives me two uh, credits and a clunk. Okay, probably worth that. Yeah, and then these are now out of the game. And I'm left with six laser sword because I used this to defeat those yeah. two. So I'm going to defeat the G0B. <laughs> okay, so, that's so here's three. five and two chains. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. And then two new cards come out and there's no attack. We want an attack now, right? Because it's just you in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. There's no attack. No attack. Okay, so I stumble and get a clank in there. And now I'm going to boldly go. So where should I boldly go? What's the best way to get in there? That is it, isn't it? Okay, so I'm just going to boldly go in here, so I can't use any more boots. So my other boldly go is just going to be useful for the skill. And then my phaser is going to protect me from the monster that I just passed there. Mm -hmm. And I have one more 
one more sword but I can't use that for anything so that just leaves me with two four five six and I will buy this monkey bot 30,000 oh <laughs> you've been thinking about that and now yeah, you yeah it. it's worth three points at least you know mm -hmm. and it gives three clank but I can get minus three clank if it comes out and I do have the faction okay token here so it's worth trying Okay, and that's it. So let's draw a card and there is no attack. There's no attack. Okay, so it is me. Telepad technician. I am going to boldly go. Okay. And then take a hit to fight this monster. To come here and get... Um, oh. That's uh, to get a minor secret and that's two laser sword. Oh. And then I am going to play my cranky doctor to oh, heal, heal, that. heal the to heal that wound okay and of course my memory card is useless and I get a stumble for one extra clank and a hack so that gives me with three three which I am going to use to oh I'm gonna use yeah. it for a boldly go you might get a laser sword that will give you three <laughs> points, right? Yeah, but you have plus two clunk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, and back to me. So I am going to stumble and fight. That's all I'm doing this time. I'm <laughs> so I've got three phasers and a stumble. So the stumble gives me a clank. And I'll fight the goblin three times. So that, uh, let's see, I'll give back seven here that 10 and then one two three four i will actually buy the jidu laser sword mm -hmm. yeah it's worth three points so i think at this stage it's worth it and so that is it so this is all discarded and a new card comes out and a new card and there is an attack Wow. The resistance leader. Okay. Oh, i'll let you draw you've been you've been good in drawings <laughs> <laughs> okay so Please don't get white. I'll, I'll try to get as many white as I can. <laughs> I know there's loads of white in here, right? Yeah. How many am I drawing? Four. Four. Mm -hmm. Okay, so one black. Another black. And two white. Really? <laughs> Did you just look at the bag and look for the white ones? <laughs> Here you go, take those. I thought you were looking lonely there, you know? No white in there. <laughs> okay, so this is out of the bag now. Yeah. I, I'm enjoying drawing this time. <laughs> now I'm going to draw next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you the bag back, so. Okay, okay, and it's so my one, turn. One, two, three, four, five. So first is... I'm going to play my Android assistant, which is draw a card. Okay. Okay. And I have a couple of boots. So one, two, three. So I got one, two, three, four, five boots. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'll probably going to come here. So one, two, three. Do you want to take that artifact? No. Three. No. Five. <laughs> three. Okay. And uh, the thing is... Now, you can actually walk across the hyperlift, but you don't have to use it, so you won't yeah. get dizzy. So you can go four or five, or you can come and join me down here. Oh, no. but you can't. There's a lock here. Yeah, I'll come so here. So you can use the last two to go down here No, if you like. I'm going to go four or five. Okay, mm -hmm. and so you fight this one guy there? Yes, I have a laser sword to fight the, that monster. Okay. And I have one more hack, so two, four. For four, I am going to... Um, what I'm gonna buy for four? What is this telepad technique? You may teleport to a telepad in your current module. Oh, that's handy. That'll get you straight back in here so you can uh, use your telepad. Yeah, so I'm gonna take that one. And that's mm -hmm. worth a point. Okay. And new card comes out and it's not an attack and it's another battle school genius. Okay. It's not an attack. Not oh. an attack, no. Okay, so my imprisoned resistor is going to allow me to draw a card and I also have my phantom agent here who also allows me to draw a card because they're both from the resistance and I get minus two clank but 
Unfortunately, I don't have any stumble just yet. Let's see if my acoustic spanner, which allows me to draw a card, gives me any. No, I just keep drawing phasers. Okay. <laughs> So I can trash a program. So let's see if I have a hack in here. I do. So I'm going to trash this hack. Try to streamline the deck a little bit. And then I have a scramble. So I'm going to use the scramble and the... Oh, let's see. I'm just going to use the scramble to come up here I think and then I've got a boldly go which will allow me to come in here and I have the key to Whoa. open the lock so I get an artifact that's worth 30 and Lord Eradicus gets very angry and so Seven. now there's a block here on the hyperlift so we could still use the hyperlift but we just can't come past yes. this space mm -hmm. right and now so I can't move anymore from there that's okay, so I have three phasers here. So those are going to attack the G0BL1 in three times. So that's another three credits there. Oh, it's a nice build up of credits from that. And now I have two, four, five, six, seven, so I'll get a memory core. Okay, so I am going to stumble. So I really don't like that card, <laughs> so one clunk. And then I have the information broker, but I don't have the faction. I have the phaser and then two hacks. So for the phaser, I'm going to fight the G0BL1M for credit. <laughs> okay. And I'm down to two, four, five. Ooh. Five, I think I'm going to buy the psychic master. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And I need one, two, three, four more cards, and we get a new card in the row. And with a bit of luck, it'll be an attack. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. We've got a door hack. Door hack. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and back to me. Yes. Okay, so my feline is going to allow me to discard a card to draw a card. So I'll discard my stumble, fortunately, and draw a card uh, because I have a crystal. Oh, it's my Judo laser sword. So I get a lot of clank here. I'm stumbling again. This guy, I think he's drunk. <laughs> so that gives me a clank. And then, I'm sorry, that's not my discard pile. And then my Judo laser sword is going to give me two clank. And I have, um, I could use this, but I don't think I'll use it just yet. To get the faction i don't have the actual faction here so i will let me see so i discard a card to draw two cards right so i get to draw one more excuse me and that is now going to be i'll use my boldly go sorry it's not a boldly go it's a boldly mm -hmm. go and that's going to come up here and then I have two swords here to take care of these two monsters there and five credits okay well that's worth five points so that's good and then I have another boldly go to come in here where I have to stop and now I have two four and I have two more swords to fight the G0BL1N so that's Whoa, another that's credit. credit yeah and then five so five skill will allow me to buy let me get this door hack over here for three and i'll get the so you get a you acquire so you get two i get two boots but i can't use boots okay. actually mm -hmm. yeah unfortunately so that uh leaves me with how much three and i had five sorry that goes into my discard pile two these are two. Okay, I'll get the last phaser here. Okay, so I have... That's it. Oh, just a moment. Mm -hmm. And then a new card comes out. Ah, oh, yes. And there is an attack. Whoa. Okay, so you're doing the uh, drawing this yeah. time? Yeah, I'm doing the drawing. So hopefully I get oh, a lot of sparkles. Three of mine in there. So, so how don't... many do we need to get? Four. Uh, yes, you have to take four. So here's four. Oh, oh. two purple. Two purple and one white. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, it is me. I'm going to play my Renegade Hacker and also my Traitor. So I have an Outlaw faction. You get two Clank. Oh, please. right. Each <laughs> opponent gets two Clank. I have enough of these cubes in the bag already, you know. <laughs> and I can trust a program later on. So I am going to use that, um, that boot and also use these two laser sword to come in here fight this monsters and oh, take and this you one 20 okay so now he's even more angry he's very angry and two more bounty hunters are in the clank area that's the maximum angry <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's going to be drawing five cubes every time <laughs> okay so then i have um so then i have um boldly go so i think i'm gonna come down here and stop there okay i've got another boldly go but there's really nothing i can do and then a hack so two four six eight nine and i'm buying this resistance leader Ooh, draw okay. a card mm -hmm. all right and this is out and that's and acquire is there an acquire on that oh uh, yeah so plus two clunk almost oh, forgot okay. yeah so two clunk yeah yeah Okay, new card. a new card. Let's hope there's no attack. There is no attack. Okay, back to me. So I'm going to use, I have these health boosters that I've been keeping for too long. So I've got three there to remove three of these. Mm -hmm. Because if five purple had come out, I would have been in serious trouble there. And now I have two memory cores that I won't be able to do anything with this turn. So I can't even move. My monkey bought 3,000 as that to give me three clank. But I can use the faction with this token. So that's mm -hmm. gone now. So that gives me minus three clank. So that balances that evens out. out. And I can draw three cards. Two, three. Actually, I don't need to use the faction token, sorry. Because one of the three cards that I drew is this uh, data miner, which mm -hmm. is the faction. So that's okay. And that's going to give me two credits. And I don't have a cube in this module, so it's only two. And that gives me a boot, a much needed boot. So I'll take that to move here. And now, nothing else left on those cards? No. So I just fight. So I've got four phasers here. Wow. So that's going to give me, there's no extra skill on those. So I've got four skill and eight swords. So that's eight swords, it's going to be four attacks there. So, so let me just exchange some of these. So those four plus one is five and five is 10. Let me just take this 10 here. And I'll change this token for a five, it makes no difference. Okay, and then I have how many to buy? Four. So maybe I will get these power boots. So that's four. And now I'm not sure if that was a good idea because, oh, there is no attack. Okay. Okay, so I'll play my entertainer. So that gives me one clunk. But for every clunk I put in this turn, I get one credit. So that gives me one credit as well, because I put one clunk. Okay. And then I have a stumble. So another clunk here. So another no credit, credit from credit me. as well, yeah. And then I have the boldly go. Uh, so actually, I'm going to use my, my boot on the entertainer as well to come down here and then use the telepod because I have the telepod access to come down here and okay. I have to stop there. Okay, yeah, you're and dizzy. And I got the renegade hawker, so I will trash my my hawker later, my hawk program. Okay. So that's two, four, five. For five, I am going to buy, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy the Baron. Yeah, or okay. if it's an escape pod, and I'm going to discard. I trash my hack program. Okay. okay, new card, and, and hopefully there's an attack. There is an attack here, oh, there is and an it's a dark jidu. Whoa! Oh, it's your so many Star Wars references here. Oh, and this one has a danger on it. So what this danger means is that when we do an attack, until this is defeated, as long as it's in the row, we're going to be drawing one extra cube. So. Okay. Should you do? 
Uh, it's it me? Yeah. Okay. Because so I drew earlier. Five, right? Five. Okay, so let's see if I can get more than one at a time. So there's oh. four. And one more. Oh, it's me. Okay. Okay, so that's two for the white and then two for the purple. Wow, mm -hmm. it's getting very dangerous there now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Back to me. Yeah. Right, let's see if I can get get out of here. So we had an attack, unfortunately, so I wasn't able to get rid of any clank here. I have an imprisoned resistor that allows me to draw a card. And my phantom agent allows me to draw a card because of the faction there. And it gives me minus two clank. But unfortunately, oh. I don't have any clank yet. Let's see. I can draw a card using my acoustic spanner. And that's a hack. Oh, which is nice. And that allows me to trash a card. So I will do that. First of all, I'm going to play, let's see, boldly go and another boldly go and a scramble. So that's three boots. So that will take me, where is the best place to go? Okay, so one two three and then i have to fight those two guys so my phaser will protect me from them and so that's two four six seven eight nine include my other hack so for nine i'm going to buy a memory core for seven and for two i'm going to get this entertainer i think yeah so i get the entertainer there and now i can trash the hack and that's the end of my turn. Okay, so we'll get a new card. Okay, so we've got an information broker. Ooh. I think there was so, one of those out in the first round, right? Yeah, I'll play my Psychic Master to draw two cards. Okay, and then I will play my Boldly Go. Okay. Boldly Go to come here and stop there. Oh, right. And then... I have uh, the account hack that gives me one credit and also I've got this uh, two phaser to oh. oh did you draw the extra cube for the dark jitter oh, that time no I draw only four cards so all right oh it was actually more. it wasn't me drawing yeah no, but can we draw one more anyway? One yeah. more, yeah, because that is danger, right? You just explained the danger. Yeah, that I just time. explained that we forgot to actually do it. So a oh, black, black cube. cube, okay. Okay. So I have I've have two phasers, which I'm gonna use the three to attack the dark Jidu. Oh, okay. And defeat four. Each opponent discards a card. Oh, so all right. I defeated that, so I get four. Um, I get four credits, so five and chains of one. So this is gone. Okay. And I have to discard a card, right? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. What one will I discard? Okay, I'm going to discard this boldly go. Okay. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my health booster here that is lying down here <laughs> okay. to um to get one of my cubes out. So yeah. I'm left with a uh, information broker. I'm left with a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Memory core, not yeah, that. <laughs> memory core. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and do we get an attack? We do not. We get a thunderbug. Mm -hmm. We do not get an attack. So I only have four cards this time. So I'm going to use my Underworld Contact. And he's just going to allow me to move down there. And I'm going to use the sword here on the phaser to protect me from that. And now I'm going to use the Hyperlift so I can come down as far as here. And I have a key to get through the lock, so it's okay. I can't go the whole way in here, unfortunately. So next then I have... Oh, I can't, I can't move anymore. So I have one, two, three, four. So I have five swords. Let me see. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use uh, 
two of them to attack the G0BL1N. And then the other one, the other three, I am going to defeat the mad scientist. So I will clear off uh, one, uh, one it's a health, health yeah. mm -hmm. and I can spend five for an additional one cure. So I will do that. So now that's my two, three, four, five skill. And the mad scientist is now gone, but I have healed a bit and I have no money left after that or no skill left to buy anything. Okay, so Ooh, a I'm new card. Again. Okay, and a new card comes out. So that is not an attack and it's an Android assistant. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use my cranky doctor for a health booster. And then I use my Android assistant to draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. And then I am going to... Do you have the faction there? Mm-hmm. No, but I have the faction now. Oh, Telepod nice. technician. So you may teleport to an adjacent space. So wow. I teleport here and then I get the prime. Oh, it's a boot. Oh, okay. And then I am going to use my two bold legal. Oh, all right. For these two boots to come. So you up get to here. the escape pod so you're ah, safe. Yeah, just come down here and get this escape pod. Yeah. And then I also have a two laser uh, sword to fight the G01B, L1N, <laughs> for okay. one credit. And I am left with how many? Two, four, six, right? Oh my God, just six. I need one more to. So for six, I am going to get the Battle School Genius. Yeah. And the other battle school right. genius. And leaving, mm -hmm. leaving me susceptible to attack. No attack there. And attack. no attack there. Okay. Really? Wow. Okay, so now let me see. So I am going to discard a card to draw two cards. And so I'm going to discard my stumble. Thank God. And two cards. Okay, my memory card there is useless. And now, door hack. If I trash any cards this turn, I get plus two boots, but I can't trash anything, unfortunately. So I am going to just get one boot from that, and that will take me in here. Whoops. Mm -hmm. And now I have three attacks, or sorry, six, six Eight swords. Three. So that's three credits from wow. attacking that guy there, yeah. So. There's two back. Mm -hmm. And I can buy one, two, three, four. I will buy the information broker, I think. That's going to give me two points. Okay, so a new card comes out. Yeah, and oh, it's oh, an, attack. an attack. So that's five. No. Mm. Two, four. Oh, I'm getting hit too. Five. Wow, five, three hits. Three. Okay, so this is now out. One, two, three. All right, so now it's my turn yeah. and I've already gotten out of the escape pod. So let me put okay. myself out of the board. <laughs> right. So normally you draw four cubes, but because yeah. we're two player, we're going to uh, draw six, six cubes. That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right, instead of your turn, you draw yeah. cubes. Uh, oh, let me have the purple. Oh my three. God. And another Two. Oh! Wow! Are you serious? Oh one. my goodness! So that means. Wow! This is one, I've only got one health two, left. Three, four, five. Oh, I have to uh. get out of here. I need to get at least three boots this time. Mhm. Mm oh, that's dangerous. That that would mean I would get no points, right? Oh, okay. Luckily, I've but gotten <laughs> a lot of boots here. So my memory core is useless. And now my monkey bot 3000 would generate three clank and allows me to draw three cards. So let me draw three cards first. Oh, excellent. And I got my data miner. So I didn't actually need to use this, but that is minus three clank. So that cancels itself out. And I get two credits plus two for having this data yeah. cube in the module. So I get four credits. So that's another five there. Oh. And one change. Okay, so... Fortunately, I have a number of boldly goes here to help me 
move. So I have, let's see, there's one boot on that and another one here. So those two will bring me in here. Give me a health. Okay, it's so it's, it's three, archive. it's archive, yeah, and yeah. he doesn't like people reading his diary, so he would move up, but he's already at the top, and the underworld contact will get me out, so at least I'm in the cargo bay, so even yeah. if I don't get to the escape pod, I will get my points, but we'll see how far we can go, so I've got another boldly go here, and that's going to bring me in here, and another minor secret, which is a health boost! Ooh which I'll use straight away to take <laughs> one of these off. Wow, and then I can boldly go up here. Oh, I can boldly go over here for two credits. Mm -hmm. And so that's one, two. And I have a phaser. So that's two swords, so I can fight the G0BL1N. And that's, that's it, eight. right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I've got nine. So of course I'm going to buy a memory, memory core, core for seven. And for the last two, I'll buy plus one clank. Okay, I'll get the thun. No, I'll get the squawk bot here. So plus one clank. Okay, so I'm a new card. Wow, well, I really... Oh, that's when it comes out, yeah. yeah. Okay, and a new card, and there is no, no attack. attack. Oh, It's my goodness. turn. Another oh, six. dear, so... Two. Oh. Four. Oh, I'm dead. Six. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so you're dead, so, but at yeah, least your I scores are out. safe. Yes. Yeah. So he got knocked out, and he got dragged off the ship, and that is the, the end, end of, of the, the game. game. So guys, before we go to final scoring, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Yeah guys, those likes and those subscriptions really help us to grow our channel. So if you wouldn't mind, please click that button below. And we are on to final scoring. Okay, so we do our cards, our tokens and, and our credits. And our credits, yes. All right, so I have 40 for my cards. Okay. And I have 21 for my credits. Wow, okay. okay. And then for the tokens, for the tokens, I have 52. So that gives me 113. 113, 113. wow, okay. And so I have got for my cards here, 39. I have 10, 20, 30, 38 credits. And for my tokens, I have a total of 30, 40, 45, 50. For a total of 127. Wow, you won! <laughs> yeah, it was a good game. That was fun. I picked up Acoustic Spanner very early there and that allowed me to draw a card as well as trash one of my programs. That let me get rid of a lot of my hacks which only give you one skill point. That really streamlined my deck because there's a lot of other cards that give you skill points as well as other benefits. The center of hydroponics is a good place to put your data cube. One of its bonuses is 5 credits, and this can give you first dibs at the market. This is huge, especially in a two-player game where there is only one of its item. Market items are very useful, and you should be sure to get either the first or second item there if you can. I think the key is the most useful item because it gives you access to a lot of areas very quickly, as well as being able to use the full length of the hyperlift. If that is gone, then I think you should go for the telepass because that also allows you to quickly get around the board. After that, I snapped up the contraband as quickly as I could because Gly had the furry smuggler and if she had gotten her hands on that, then she would have gotten three credits on every time it came out. Purchasing cards like Psychic Master and Resistance Leader is really good. They let you draw cards so it makes your hand stronger, unless of course you draw a stumble. The same goes with cards like Renegade Hacker and Information Broker. They allow you to discard a card so it helps you make your deck better. I think it's good to get a lot of phaser cards. They are worth one credit each time because it can be used to fight the G0B L1N and those points really do build up. It can also be used to fight the monsters in the corridors to make sure you don't take hit points, so two skill points really is a bargain for that card. After I got my artifact, I knew I needed to use the telepod to get off the ship as early as possible. I had a telepod pass and the hyperlift on the cargo bay was blocked, 
but had a lot of clunk in the bag, so I thought that if I escaped early, there is a chance that he got knocked out before reaching the cargo bay. However, he was faster than I thought. Well done, Pat. So that's it for today. You have been watching Clank in Space on All Aboard. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Thanks for staying with us. And if you like this video, again, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more board game contents. We'll see you again on our next video. Bye. Bye.